Hi, Nick from Patchworks here, and today I'm going to be exploring an older Mutable Instruments module called Warps. Warps is really cool because these first few um, algorithms here do a lot of cool cross-modulation. Uh, you could think like digital ring mod, ring mod, weird bitwise operations. But these last three modes here, they are a built-in vocoder. And this is something that, you know, I've played around with without vocals. It actually does some really cool things, just cross-modding two different signals. But actually using it as a vocoder is pretty cool. And especially when you drive it with something like the Qubit Chord. Um, when we think about vocoders in the past, we do think about people playing chords and having that really rich sense of uh, big chords with that robotic voice. And we can accomplish this in Eurorack using these two modules. So um, the way I had this patched up right now, I have my Strymon interface here connected to my laptop, which is gonna be looping a vocal sample of me. Um, I run that into my, my modulator here, channel two. This attenuates the signal going in. My carrier is gonna be chord. And chord is actually set to harmonize mode. So when I start playing around with with this, you'll actually hear the chord, you know, if you patch in through the volt per octave, and I have this kind of as my attenuator to drive pitch up and down, it's gonna stay in key. So it's gonna be a really cool effect. So I'll, I'll kind of go in and start playing around with stuff and describe what's happening. So let's get this, uh, let's get our sample going in. So you could already hear it happening. It just works. You could hear the chord going. And as I th change through the uh, wavetables, it gives us different timbres because that's the spectral transfer of chord over to the vocals. This timbre knob does more spectral shifting. So you could hear if I turn this up, you get more of that high end content. Around noon, you could hear that's kind of more of that classic sound. And then over here, as I push this up, you get really instant, awesome chords. And then the last thing here, we have these three modes over here. I'm going to turn this down for a second. We have these three modes over here. At the top, we the way that a, a, a vocoder actually works is that it has a bunch of these envelope followers at certain bands to transfer the spectrum. So over here, is it's at, uh, the envelope followers are the quickest at their shortest. So notes don't sustain for a long time. It's a pretty quick one-to-one. -one. But as I start turning this up, the, uh, the envelope followers start sustaining longer and you can hear the things kind of stretch and you hear more of the... Uh, the carrier, and then all the way to the right here, where it actually just has like a, it's like a snowflake for freeze. It'll actually just freeze uh, the the signal, and all the envelopes are just going to be frozen at their particular moment. So I'll turn that back up, and we'll play around with that and hear how that sounds. So short, more sustain. Now it's frozen. Sounds pretty cool, right? So if you, I love doing this with the Qubit chord because I love chords with vocoders, but a cool feature of Warps too, I'm gonna unpatch my carrier here. And then if I hold down internal, if I just click internal oscillator rather, um, it has a built-in oscillator. So this isn't gonna be auto harmonized. So you're gonna hear as I move this up and down, it's just gonna be pitch wavering all over. But I still have my vocal sample in there. So you're gonna hear So it's awesome. Warps does so much. Honestly, you know, that, that oscillator, built-in oscillator is a boon because when you're doing cross-mod stuff, you do want to have a second source. So if you don't have something like a chord lying around or even a basic oscillator, Warps has you covered. But you could also hear that using one note, it just doesn't hit the same. And that's why chords plus warps equals vocoder magic in your rack. 
Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, you know, like I always say, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, reach out to us, and uh, happy patching.